噂話が聞きたいのかいそうさね人から聞いた話だから確かなもんじゃないんだけど South of the mausoleum of forest there lives a princess of plants She used to be deep in the forest, but when she comes out, she comes out a lot lately. But she doesn't like humans, so she hides when she's seen. Well, you should look for her if you want to, it might be fun. Ah, so so. There's a rumor that a rare slime was seen in the Shadow Palace. A soldier on patrol saw it in a dark room while he was on break. It approached him without a sound and suddenly grabbed him. Just imagining it scares me. That's all I got. It's just a rumor. So it's up to you, believe it or not. If it's good enough for you, come back in any time to listen. So they're supposed to be able to find out more about potential lineage locations. Not from her, apparently. Took the shopkeeper, lineage rumors. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you about the black sweet candy. There's a monster that loves to eat that candy. To be clear, it's a lineage type and the mausoleum of metal. It attacks when you're walking, so be careful of that. So, 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 I heard this from some chivalry newbie, but you know about the armor knights wandering the Shadow Palace? The source of their power is a crystal called a Heartstone. Lately, people with Heartstones have been getting mugged. They were attacked by knights who were, who were with armor knights. That meant the culprit is more powerful than the knights. If you fight any armor knights, don't take the Heartstones. Just get rid of it, unless you want to fight that villain. That's all I got. So it sounds like if I get the black sweet candy or the shadow heart, was his, is what he called it, I think? If I get those items, I will be able to spawn these these hidden uh, lineage types. There he is. So the Golden Magic Knight, level 5 danger. Probably don't want to mess with him. So that's, that's the one that wants the heart stone. I checked the vendor. He does not sell a heart stone, so I'm not going to be getting it that way. So I assume that I want to go into the Shadow Palace and find other things if I want a Hearthstone. A Hearthstone, although, given his danger level, I probably don't want it for a while. That said, Miles Lima Metal. That's an excuse to go back to the, the starting zone. Yep, he wants to steal Black Sweet Candy. I went ahead and bought a, a Black Sweet Candy from the vendor because he sells one. It's the one that restores uh, mana, but it restores so little that it's not really worth it. And he only sells five, so it's not even a good supply either. So ultimately, you still have to deal with people running out all the time as a problem for now. Uh, let's double check the base real quick. Just to see if everyone's currently... I want to check to see all the green portraits. They they should have a heart on them. Yep, they are. They love hearts. Hearts mean they're currently recovering. You got to be careful, because... You start the process for reviving them from being knocked out, but then there's the process that's separate from uh, bringing back a life point. And if they recently brought, if you had them recently bring back, uh, if you just had them revive from being dead, you have to then start them over again at a uh, recovering the life point. Otherwise, they'll just sit there and not recover the life point, but also just be sitting there for a while in town, and that's not good news. So we're back to this low level area, so we should be able to get a lot done here without having to worry too much. But uh, we're trying to hunt down a lineage type, and who knows when they're going to show up. So we'll be ready. In the meantime, it'll be a good opportunity to level up my low lower level characters, because I do have a level 4 and a level... S I have a level 4 and a 3 in my party right now. And they're, they seem extra prone to getting obliterated. So, gi so giving them an opportunity to get some experience in a safer location will be nice. My wizard's already about to hit level 4. Those first few levels are brutal for how quickly you can die. And maybe we'll get a nice ambush opportunity while we're here. Wooden chest. Low level enemies. A helmet. I'll pass. Might be able to find something cooler than that. Although I don't know, but don't know how much I can expect from loot in the first zone. A shield. I'll pass. 
They might all be wooden boxes. I don't remember the chest very well from this zone. Is, is that another wooden chest? There's armor. That's a that's an improvement. I'll go for this. As often as the case, the Hydra in the background is our obvious, our big goal. Uh, concentrate, fight, defend. Uh, actually, yeah, we're probably strong enough. I can probably defend with my spellcaster and not have to not have to spend uh, energy that we might need for the actual boss fight eventually. How the damage look? Oh yeah, he's getting beaten down pretty hard. Granted, now only certain characters can target him, but now Tri-Step happens, so I think it'll even itself out. Go down, go down. There we go. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and just repeat. And we're clear. And our spellcaster leveled up, and... Up. Oh. Gold or silver box is likely to be high damage. We'll do explosion. Nope, it was needle. They tricked me. Or I misread something. Both are po technically possible. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up our... Not heal up, uh, level up our caster. Um, vitality, agility, luck, strength... Uh, intelligence is already at 20. It's definitely sort of tempting to go for more vitality just to let them soak up a hit without dying instantly. Mixed feelings. I'll, I'll go for more intelligence for now. There we go, they're already up to 67. There's an improvement. Now, now they have the access to that slow ability that I got used to having before. So I guess I'll just run around and set up ambushes for a while? Can't find a route. Oh right, I have to go underground to get there, don't I? This is the next ambush location. Here we go. Yeah, I'll just let them run around and we'll try to do ambushes and we'll see if we get caught by that lineage we're trying to lure out. But otherwise, get some experience for my low levels. Uh, should be a straightforward repeat. Yep. Quick encounters of the third of the third kind. Oops, misclicked. There we go. Sorry, you live twice as long because I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing for a second. I, sorry to waste your time. <laughs> what do you have? What do you have for me, dungeon? Come on. Same usual, a shield, I'll pass. Shields are relatively niche as far as items go, and I feel like I have good, decent ones now. I'd love to find a thrown weapon now. Ah, uh, spears would be nice. Spears would be nice. We haven't had much to go for for uh, spears. Honestly, just repeat. Like that. There we go. <laughs> they're, they're weak enough that even if we're attacking them in the wrong order, they should all die in a couple turns without much risk. Let's see. It's, it claims Needle's the common one, and honestly, Teleport doesn't seem like it'd be that much of a threat, so I'm not that worried. Okay, so we got more spears to identify. Hopefully that pans out. Let's head down there. Hey, buddy. Just regular old... Yep, princes. So I'm hoping that since I have the black sweets in my inventory, we're now likely to be ambushed by that dude, but who knows. For now, we're just kind of running around and seeing what happens. I've ha I haven't really had to lure out a lineage type so far. They usually kind of just show up and attack me, usually. But we're making our way up with the experience. So we've come out in the bottom here. Oh yeah, next ambush location. Get up in there. Hi. What do you got? More princes for me? Oh, they're getting higher level. Interesting. The risk has risen. I don't feel much reason to fight level 23s, though. Seems like a smarter call just to move on. Now there's one. <laughs> it's adorable how much the fight changes that quickly. Everyone's healthy still? Yep. Yeah, 23s could be tough. That's the type of level of enemy that I'm trying to avoid by being here in the first place. Because I don't want to abruptly lose my spell... My, uh, spellcaster. I can go over here. I never... I have unexplored dungeons still? Wow. I guess it never stood out to me on the map. Oh, there's nothing off... There's nothing here, though. So there was unexplored dungeon, but at the same time there kind of wasn't. 
Let's check up here. That also looks like it's some, something like that. I thought I filled my map in around here. Looks like I more or less had, though. <laughs> I don't think there's much left there. I still caught off guard, though, to see a wall I hadn't filled in yet, just because I thought I was doing good at, at that. Give me your sweet loots. Ooh, that looks promising already. Looks like a higher quality, higher quality chest. A helmet, though. Do I want a helmet? Uh, my helms are relatively bad, but I'd love to get a better weapon. I re I'm really hoping this for someone to give me thrown weapons, which I was passing on before, back when I wasn't using one, but... Oh, look, it's him. We found him. Hi, enemy transporter. Oh, and it's a throne, so I guess we'll be fighting you then. Mukabu the third. All right, let's go mess up Mukabu the third. We're gonna ruin this guy. Divinity. Start off with black wall for reducing damage. Chivalric sword attack an enemy in each row. That's not gonna help me here. Let's just hit him in the face real quick. Let's see. I'll cast a void on Neitu. As a low-level melee character, I don't want them to get hit by, by as a surprise. Attack an enemy row. Not gonna matter here in this case. Just attack normally. Concentrate. Confine and make him easier to hit. I don't know what his dodge chance is, so I'll go for it. But honestly, he's level 12. This might be a very short fight. And I might be putting too much thought into this. But I don't want to underestimate a divinity. I mean, a lineage type. In case we get a nasty surprise. But anyway, we've made Nate, we've made Nate too harder to hit, and we made him easier to hit, hopefully. Oh, he has a surprise friend. Hobgoblin. Cute. I'm gonna, everyone who can attack this guy is going to keep trying, though. All right, you'll go after Hobgoblin. You can go for the back row. Try step the back row. Now that he's confined, we're going to just try to blow him away. He'll probably go down pretty quickly, like right now. There he goes. All right, lineage type eliminated. And we got a thrown weapon. This is all good news. Uh, no one seems to have leveled up, though. A rare weapon. This could be a good haul for my new throne character. Get a freaking rare weapon for them. Uh, right, I already ambushed here. The lineage type distracted me a little bit. Made me forget a little bit. Uh, wow, okay. Our cleric's at 99%. They're about to hit level 8. That'd be fantastic. He's staying ahead of my main character pretty well for, like... I mean, he's been here since day one, so it makes sense that he's keeping ahead, but yeah. He's still ahead of my main character. Sooner or later, he's gonna get wounded and taken out, and I'm gonna have to rely on a different cleric, I'm, I, I assume. Um, I guess I'll just keep pressing forward, honestly. There's still ambush locations. Might be able to find a katana. Because now I'm using a samurai and a dancer, but I don't have weapons for them, by and large. So that's why one of my goals here is to get a, uh, I'm, I was hoping to get a thrown weapon for my dancer, because right now the thrown weapons kind of suck. That seems to be turning around already, though. I think that it's a, it's a rare one, so I'm, I hope that that means it's good. So my next goal is going to be a katana. Said so I don't think I have a particularly good katana at the moment. Off to our ambush spot. Here we go. We'll go ahead and level up our cleric. Hideo. Yep. Keep going up on piety. There we go. 137 experience. He's becoming a bit more tanky. Multi-avoid. That's fantastic. I can help my entire party dodge better? Plus all allies to increase their avoid. That's great. And it stacks? That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, cool. I can help our evasion in any fight with a relatively powerful spell now. It might cost a lot. I should have double-checked its price. I'll do, I'll do that soon. Hydra's nonsense. A spear. I'll pass. Come on, Katana. Come on. What is that? An accessory. I could use I could use an accessory. And they're regular enemies. An accessory would be useful to me. All right, is that one row or two? It's two rows. Okay. Let's use some of my fun skills a bit. I'll throw in a black wall for defense. And I'll use my skill, Chivalric Sword. That'll attack an enemy in each row. Spread that damage around a bit. Multi-avoid costs five. Attack an enemy row. 
tech that back row. Just to take just to do damage everywhere. I'm kind of just having fun for a second here, obviously, because there's this, it, the smart thing is to focus fire the Goblin King, but I want to see I want to see some of these skills in action a little bit, even though there's just going to be like a something flashing for a second and a number popping up. There's my single target. Here's the enemy row. Wow. No joke, huh? That's a hell of a damage to spam across their whole party. And that's him attacking both rows. Yep. We created a cross of uh, overlapping AoEs and it hit them. Right, I'm ambushing them, so it didn't make any sense to... Uh... Wow, they're really low. That was actually effective. This one dodged an attacker. He'd be down too. Uh... Obviously, it was a bad idea to use Black Wall, I realize, because uh, they don't attack during the first turn of an ambush, usually, I don't think. Because I got the drop on them. That's the whole point. So I'm stupid, and I made a mistake. And we're going to move past that now. Take that guy out. Everyone focus on the, fi on the uh, Goblin King who can. Otherwise, we'll attack the other rows. Spellcaster's not needed here. Yeah, it's over. Fight is over, and ooh. Nate on their way to level 5. Four, oh my god. Five rings. That's fantastic. It doesn't even matter what the rings are. I have, I have a bunch of characters with empty ring slots, so any ring would be an improvement, even if it just gives you like two defense or something. Good news. Good news all around. Alright. Let's go upstairs. This has been a successful run so far. Multiple level ups. Murder. Murder. <laughs> uh, a lineage type is down. Got a throne weapon. Just need a damn katana. Come on. Give me what I need. Let's make our way to the last amb- I think it's the last ambush spot I can really use without recycling. At which point I'll have to do- I'd have to do like fights where I charge up my morale to be able to do more. These are guys- these guys are straightforward enough. Mass murder. Yep, Nate 2 is getting there. Inch by inch. What was that? Hang, hang on. I haven't seen one of those for a while. A glowing butterfly flows by. What do you want to do? Oh. Oh. I remember these guys. Didn't I try to touch it before? I tried to touch it before, I think, and it kicked me out. This is the, the thing that surprised me by teleporting me out. Should I kill it? Kill the butterfly. Strider grabs the butterfly roughly. Is it a lineage type? It's a level six Surtural. I don't know what it's gonna do. Let's uh, let's just prepare ourselves. Uh, Holy light. Hit it in the face. Multi avoid. I'm gonna prepare for the worst, even though it could be a really easy encounter by just doing stuff like like preparing ourselves with with holy light and everything. Uh, it's a plant, so probably is fire. Here's holy light. All right. Oh. That was two damage. Oh, it's not hurt by physical attacks. So I'm going to want to hit it with a spell. No. Oh, never mind. It has... I'm barely hurting it, but it has no hit points to begin with, so we're fine. Well... That's dangerous to say, but at least it, uh, this, the, those low numbers don't mean what I thought they meant, at least, which is good. Uh, we'll follow up with another, another spell. Maybe we'll try ice to see if it changes, has a different effect. A lot of attacks. What have I done? Was it good or bad? Whoa! 3,000 experience. That was a notable. That was a noteworthy chunk of experience right there. Yep, two characters level already level. Three thousand seems like a lot, actually. All right, more more strength, actually. Let's make our our hard hitting character hit hard. How's she doing on experience now? She yeah, she's already twelve percent past. That was no small deal. We can level up Bevic. Maybe pump up that agility more. Yeah. So she's all about the, uh... Actually, I think it's a guy. Uh, they're all about the several attacks in a row, so I, uh... 
if you're doing several attacks in a row like that, it probably benefits to have a bit higher accuracy and stuff like that. Um, that said, I might want to give them better armor. Ooh, Thieves' Cloth. Yeah. I thought somebody else was wearing that. Could have sworn I had somebody else wearing that equipment. Maybe I got more of it and, for, and lost track. There's a lot of items in this game. <laughs> and I'm afraid to sell some of them yet, just because I think there's a decent chance I'll find other uses for them. We'll see how it goes. Friend. You guys are, oh yeah, you guys are, you guys are regular, regular old enemies. Let's just make a mess. How you guys doing? Huh? Nice day out, isn't it? Bye. There we go. We're on our way to leveling up our spellcaster yet again. Yeah, we're doing, we're in a good spot. I would like to le leave this run with my wizard at level 5, whereas he started with level 3. And then, uh, we should be in a safer spot in general for going into future dungeons. It's also nice to have our cleric at 8 already, that's crazy. Let's wander on down to that spot. Keep an eye out for any weird glowing things I could use. Oh, hello. Pretty objects. I'll take them. I'll take all the pretty. My precious. What do we have here? I misclicked. God damn it. I did it again. Alright, Hydra, Baby Dra, it's a helmet. I'm just gonna have to live with this now. Do a murder. Do a murder all over its face. We did it. The end. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. I, I can't I I so bad at accidentally hitting fight instead of checking what I what the actual item is. Oh well. The item's ours. So where'd this pop me out? Oh, the locked door. We never went past it. Right. Can I open it yet? The door doesn't seem to open still. So I'm missing something here. See, doesn't this take me upstairs? This takes me up to where the uh, collapsed plane was. One of our first ever lineage encounters. And there's just nothing here? Maybe you could attract an enemy in certain situations by doing something there. But for the moment, we don't have a way into that dungeon. Uh, taking a look around on our map, is there any unexplored corner we've seen so far? I don't see any spots we haven't been to. Go back upstairs. If there was any holes in the map for me to fall into, I would have found them by now, I believe, because I've checked... Seems like I've checked every single corner of the entire map. Huh. So it must be a search location, right? My best guess would be that you'd have to go somewhere and use search. And, uh, that'd be a tough call. Um... Not sure where you'd go to do that. But I believe you'd have to go somewhere and do, like, investigating in, like, just the right spot to make something happen. And that might not be easy. Otherwise, it might be time for me to go. Alright, we'll just head our way out. See if anything else happens. I don't really want... I don't see a reason to waste the, uh, item that lets you get out of here if I can just path on back. There we go. Bye, guys. Thanks for the experience. Oh, wow. That was abrupt. Is there something different about you guys? Nope, just two healers alone. That went about as well, as well as you'd expect it would. I think there's a decent chance I'll hit level, uh, level 5 on my way out. Hey, buddy. Hugs. It's like they don't want me to leave. It's adorable. It's like they're just so clingy. They don't want to see me go away. And I can't blame them, because I'm great. <laughs> what was that? Oh, it's just a pillar. I thought I, thought I saw a chest on the ground over there. But it, that would have been that would looked really out of place in this game because chests don't look like that. There we go, one more fight. Oh, Skullcap, hello, the flying shadows. This is relatively new for me. All right, let's destroy this guy. Let's go for it. It's not, and it's a different encounter type to go after. And if I uh, if I get enough um, morale from this, I can go do another ambush. That'd be good. 
Let's see. Don't want to. Don't really want to half my defense right now. Let's just attack the main row. Multi avoid. Let's see. Let's focus on the skull cat first and foremost, because I don't know what he does, and it could be a nasty trick for me. Wait a minute. Isn't he unholy? Should I be using my holy weapon? Anti-immortal effects? Let's see, is he listed as immortal? I don't know how I would see, honestly. He's a skeleton man, so maybe I should be ready for that. I'll, I'll start with multi-avoid. Well, if we don't hurt him, I'll check him for anti-immortal next. And we'll see how that pans out. Firebolt. That's a miss. 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 Sup, so, spell worked. Okay. Can't help but notice that our entire party missed, so that makes me extra suspicious about the immortal thing. Okay. Now the twist here. <clears throat> Sorry. Right now, I just sort of like put, push myself up and that fucked with all the voice. Uh, damn it. I'm torn between ca casting anti-undead or whatever and uh, healing my party member because she's injured. I'm going to go with, with healing for now. We'll see how this goes. Have her defend. Try step. Let's take out the, the other characters real quick. If they're going to be a pro problem for me. I'm sure they're just regulars, right? And then he won't have any sidekicks here. Whoa, a lot of misses. They seem to be just exceptionally unlikely to be hit. Oh, those must be healers because they're healing him constantly. All the more reason to target him then. Let's use the holy weapon. That might help with fighting him. Let's go for the back row characters. They're rather durable and I'd like to get rid of them if I can. Did that one just run away? Oh yeah, they're absolutely just healers. Oh, high level healers too. Okay. That comes as a bit of a surprise. I'll let my spellcast, my uh, my ranged character deal with him. We'll have everyone else deal with the front row character, including Tri-Step. Ranger will take care of the back row guy. Let's see what I can do with the Skullcap guy. All right. Whoa. He seems exceptionally unlikely to be hit. Hideo should have used his un his undead attack, right? He attacked. Wait, did last time did he use his skill correctly? Yeah, holy weapon, unholy weapon. So everybody should have unholy weapon. So that's not that doesn't appear to be related right now. Well, he hasn't done much to me so far, so I don't have much don't have a lot to be worried about yet. So I guess we'll just keep hitting him and see how things pan out. Do what I can to reduce his uh, ability to avoid. Let's use slow. There we go. We got a little bit of a hit there. That's a start. Here comes the tri-step. I cast slow and confined, so hopefully between those two, we got some hit chance. Oh, that's not great. Oh, nope. Those are numbers. Those are numbers coming up. Okay, cool. That's good news. We'll repeat that. Got him. Okay. And the spellcaster leveled up. Good news. Here we are at our ambush spot. Backspace for a new level. Uh, more intelligence, perhaps? Let's keep going deeper down there. <laughs> Just this hilarious amount of danger. Now he's got Thunderbolt, so he can do multi-attacks. And I can I, and I can ambush here with my 20 morale. Come on, Katana. Please. Pretty, please? Level 23 enemies. The, en the weapon's a spear. I'll pass. Katana, 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 that's shield. Stop it. I'm not asking for shields. Is that another shield? Are you serious? I'll pass. I know I'm making the risk higher each time. 
I just oh, that's a, it's a weapon, a sword. I'll have to read, I'll have to uh, settle for that. I think. I don't know if swords count as different from katanas from this screen. They probably do because they the the uh, weapon menu categorizes them as being different. But either way, it's it's about time for me to attack. Let's see, attack an enemy in each row. Sure. Let's see, I can multi avoid. They're not very high levels en enemies though. No, so I don't necessarily need. I don't think I need to do that right now. Said we'll just attack our Goblin King character up front. Concentrate. Ooh, Thunderbolt would be fun. Let's just have that bounce around. It was, did it hit two guys? I don't know if I saw it hit two guys that time. Oh, no, it hit two guys back there. Look at them. Oh, wait, no, that would have been because of Chivalric Sword, actually. It's, it's a little hard to say. So there's no downside of using Chivalric Sword aside from the part where it hurts me. That said, the character... My target's probably going to die before I use it, so let's not use it this time. There's a good chance he'll get killed by my ranger first. Go ahead and defend with the spellcaster this time. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll just repeat that. Come on! Ah. I just want to see Ranger level up. He's so close. So it's a sword, and it's in a wooden box. Needle's the most common case. I'm kind of waiting for a mimic to show up. Just because it sounds amusing. A rare blade, okay. I'm happy to see the word rare. It's, I'm not gonna complain about that. Let's go ahead and head back up. This would be a shortcut to the main entrance. Because I went the long way around before to get all the uh, ambush spots. But now, might as well just head on out. And take on any fight that comes across there. But uh, I, don't, I don't really feel like saving up to 20 morale to try to ambush again. We could always just come back later if I need to. This does seem to be a safer place to level up my lower level characters. And it's, I just get impatient, the idea of going back to the old location whenever whenever I need to level somebody up. Scrap Armor 4. Demon's Organs, Beautiful Feather. Whoa. A Snake Boomerang. A magical boomerang that leaves a trail. Can dual wield without the skill. We'll have to see about that. Heal Ring plus 3 and plus 5. Whoa. Starfruit. Heals 60 to 80 hit points. Why, hello, Kingdom Hearts. Dented Pot plus four. That's got to be better than the ones I have right now. Master Dagger. First dagger made in Sword City. Can dual wield without the skill. Requires ten agility. Thankfully, all my melee characters have ten agility. So I assume... Oh, no. The heal is still just one per turn. It just has a higher defense. Still, a whole party with high defense rings is not a bad thing. Butterfly Ring... Hide behind, hide beyond the path of pain. A ring of vanquished stranger souls gives you bonus to, to uh, is that, I think that's identification and un unlocking. Oh, it heals you every turn. That's awful. I mean, it hurts you every turn. That's a bummer. Let's look look, look at my melee characters for their helms. Wood helm plus two is six de defense. How's that compared to the pot? Not well. All right. But somebody else has a pot around here. That leather helm plus two is identical to that pot. There we go. Then the pot plus four. You can use medium items now, so we'll put you in a pot to help you out here. How do these weapons compare? These are seven and thirteen. How about that rare one? Snake boomerang. Just four? Wait. Four times four? Like the one attack the one. Weapon attacks four times, is that what you're saying? Enchantment is confusion. So this this does 13 damage, this does 7 damage. The other one says it does... Let's see. I lost track of it again. There we go, 4 by 4 Oh, it's an offhand item? Let's see. Should I stack it with another boomerang? <laughs> I feel like the other one's still better. The 13 no throwing knives. That's a, a bonus of two hits. 
13 damage and 4x4. Four four. That could be a lot of damage. We'll see how it pans out exactly. I'm not used to it exactly. I don't know what it d that means, but I hope that means it's multiplying damage. Uh, let's go through my melee character's accessories real quick. You have a stamina ring. Plus two vitality. Not the worst thing in the world. Does that Im instantly increase my health? Not necessarily. What impact does it have? I'm not super clear. Stamina ring only has one defense, though, so it's tempting to put on a heal ring for a whole bunch more. So I think I will. Help these characters avoid taking damage. The broken ring seems to do uh, nothing besides the defense, so obviously the healer ring plus five is going to be a bonus. Give you that plus three. And we'll stack up other characters with other rings for increased defense and stuff like that. Yeah, butterfly ring hurts you every turn, so I'm not going to be going near that. That seems like a downside. Let's give you stamina ring uh, vitality. I'll give, give you the stamina ring and I'll give you the broken ring. I should give you the heal ring. Yeah, we'll give them heal rings. Free health every turn is free health every turn. 